So let's start with something that I think is amazing, which is that we see so many more colors than even our recent ancestors did. This is not because of a change in our biology. It's because our current collection of technologies can generate so much more. For example, your great great grandparents never saw a lot of neon or the bright ultra red of a Tesla or the blaze orange of a caution sign on the road. But we see these colors all the time. Now, I want you to try this. Imagine a new color. Go ahead. Okay, you can't do it. The fact that you can't do it is very revealing and it's very important because it illustrates for us the fence lines of our perceptions beyond which we just can't walk. And by the way, if you could envision a new color, you wouldn't be able to explain the sensation of it to another person. For example, you have to experience purple to know what purple is. There's no amount of description on a podcast or in a textbook that's ever going to allow a totally colorblind person to understand purpleness. Here's an analogy just to make this clear. Try explaining vision to a friend of yours who is born blind. You can try all you want and your blind friend might even pretend to understand what you're talking about, but it is a fruitless attempt because to understand vision requires experiencing vision. And that's the same with experiencing purple or canary yellow or cobalt blue, you have to experience it to know it. There's no way to describe it. Language is just a way of tagging shared experiences. And if it's not shared in some way, no amount of language will do the trick.